Yeah. Good morning, Professor Pesh. How are you? Good morning. I, I hear some uh, unusual uh, language in the back, in the background. Um, yes, there is some noise here uh, ah. in, in, in the street. But now uh, I'm going to close uh, a door. <laughs> okay, no problem. <clears throat> yes, uh, there are many. Uh, people here uh, outside uh, in the street and oh. then they are uh, sold in tamales. <laughs> oh, I see. For <laughs> <laughs> oh. making me hungry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the time now for breakfast. <laughs> okay. Uh, I noticed that um, uh, we have a new uh, uh, participant uh, named Brian Sarmina. Yes. Uh, hello, uh, Brian. Uh, Brian was working uh, uh, with me and uh, Prof. Sorosiewicz. Uh -huh. In the, uh, I do not remember, maybe uh, around uh, uh, five or, um, or four years ago. Oh, I see. And, uh, he was uh, uh, um, uh, participating in the seminar uh, uh, frequently and uh, and take a discussion on with the professor of civic with uh, around many subjects, some of them for his bachelor te thesis. Then I see. Uh, he, he was working in the past with the professor. And now, uh, uh, Brian, can you uh, present uh, yourself? Uh, yes, uh, can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes I'm uh, testing a new uh, microphone and some headphones. Uh, yes, uh, as um, Professor Jesus said, uh, I used to work with uh, Professor Osiewicz uh, back in my um, bachelor's uh, degree. Uh, right now, I'm studying my PhD in uh, computer science. I'm working uh, on a specific algorithm, but uh, I'm also uh, interested in the representation of category theory in quantum mechanics. Uh, I found um, interesting information about it. Um, um, recent months, uh, there is a language that is supposed to make this uh, connection of, of the two areas. Um, and applied also to quantum computing. That is my, my um, main area of research. Uh, I'm also interested in different uh, uh, fundamental questions. Like uh, Professor Jesus said, we used to have like a seminar where we discussed a lot of things. Um, and also, I think uh, that's all. I'm from Mexico <laughs> too, and that's it. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm, uh, I admit that I don't know very much about uh, quantum computers, uh, but I'm 
very interested in quantum mechanics um, from a more fundamental point of view. And uh, uh, although I never had very uh, many opportunities to discuss uh, quantum mechanics with uh, Dr. Oshevich, uh, he, he and I primarily discussed uh, relativity theory, uh, but all, also with applications in category theory. So but, uh, it was primarily about uh, relativity. Uh, but uh, lately uh, in, in these seminars, we've uh, had a series of presentations from um, uh, Dr. Sobchik, whose main interests are um, in the mathematics of what uh, is sometimes called geometric algebra or, or uh, uh, Clifford algebra. And uh, uh, I'm not sure if, uh, if uh, Dr. Sobchik would be joining us today or not. I think he is or he was most recently in Mexico, um, but uh, I, I haven't heard from him in the last three weeks, so uh, I'm not sure. Uh, do you know Jesus? Mm -hmm. Yes, I remember that he uh, uh, traveled to uh, Mexico and in Puebla, in, uh -huh. in yes. Puebla City. Um, but uh, I have not news uh, uh, about him. And uh, uh, I hope uh, maybe he forgot. <laughs> uh, it's possible. The, the session, session, but uh, you sent to us uh, one uh, update of the invitation. Yes, uh, this morning I, I realized that for, for some number of months I haven't modified the uh, invitation and we have been meeting every uh, three weeks, but the invitation still referred to every week. And uh, mm -hmm. so, <clears throat> This morning, I I attempted to make a change to that schedule, um, and and that when I make a change, it it will uh, often send emails to the list of participants. Uh, but we have a a large list of participants, but all, only a very small number of actual participants. Uh, so, but in any case. Uh, I, I hope I succeeded in making that change. I, I'd sort of forgotten about the fact that I had uh, set up an automatic uh, uh, schedule uh, for these meetings and hadn't have been neglecting it for a few months now, but so I thought I'd at least try to update it and have it correct so that it indicated that our meetings are now occurring every three weeks. Yeah. So that's that's probably why you and several other people on the list would have received a, a notice this morning. Anyway, uh, I guess uh, our at our last meeting we uh, agreed. I guess that that you uh, uh, you just that you were yes. making a presentation this this time. Um, and I think maybe we, we should uh, proceed um, and, uh, with the meeting, even though uh, Dr. Subject isn't here. Um, he can, uh, I'll, I'll make sure that he will, that our recording of the meeting is available uh, to him if he is interested in finding out what we talk about today. Um, so I guess with that, uh, uh, you were going to tell us ap more about applications and category theory, I think. Yes, I, I was uh, working uh, even with the idea of um, um, the graph representation of Clifford algebra. Mm -hmm. um, not yet, uh, uh, I have not arrived yet to the uh, graphical uh, presentation of Clifford Al Algebra. But uh, may, uh, I have uh, more ideas about this. And 
uh, maybe I can uh, present uh, uh, to, today to, to you. Um, I uh, only continue with the review of uh, some uh, categorical theory concepts and uh, uh, in particular with the concepts related with the uh, rings and models that are uh, the uh, subjects that are required for uh, um, work with the algebras. Then uh, this is uh, the, the principal subject uh, that I was uh, uh, preparing for, for today. Okay, great. <clears throat> uh, I think uh, oh. if you're ready. Uh... Yes, yes. Yeah, if you uh, agree, I, I'm going to share my screen. Uh, wait a moment, please. Uh, boy, uh, I'm going to open uh, the presentation. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. Okay, are you, uh, have you now uh, the, the slide? Uh, yes, yes, I, uh, I see the, okay. uh, I see the <clears throat> slides. Okay, in, then, uh, in, in this uh, presentation, uh, I, I, I have been uh, uh, acc uh, accumulating the, the, the uh, all the slides, then it is now uh, 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 growing too, too much, but uh, uh, I, I want only go to the, uh, um, Subject uh, that uh, I prepared. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, uh, Professor Sofshi, uh, 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 welcome. Oh, thank um, you. Yeah, <clears throat> I couldn't get on my computer, but I'm on my tablet. So maybe, yeah, I, yeah, so I guess I can be on my tablet. For some reason, I can't. Log in on my computer. <laughs> so go ahead. Uh, I'm glad to be here. <laughs> I'm glad you could make it. Uh, just by the way, we have one other uh, participant this morning. Uh, Brian Sarmina is uh, joining us this morning. Oh, very nice. He's a, a <laughs> former student and uh, of. Uh, uh, Dr. Shevich and, and Dr. Cruz, and 
currently doing his PhD work in quantum oh, computers. Nice. Oh, okay. uh, it's a pleasure to meet you, Professor. Um, I'm going to turn on my camera just a bit so you can see me uh, and know me. I'm going to turn it off. Uh... Well, yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay, I see you. <laughs> yeah. Hello there. <laughs> nice um, to meet you. <laughs> uh, me too. Okay. Um, then, uh, um, are you the only said that uh, yeah, I was uh, reviewing some more concepts uh, related with category theory? And, uh, and the idea is uh, to connect this with the, uh, the uh, structure and, uh, of uh, rings and modules uh, with. Um, the purpose of uh, 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 arrive finally to the uh, al uh, algebra structure. Then this is the <clears throat> uh, the principal uh, idea here. Then uh, only maybe for um, the uh, for present. Uh, a general idea to uh, <clears throat> to Brian. Uh, I, I am going to uh, put this slide that is the uh, starting points uh, with a conjecture presented with uh, by uh, Professor uh, Garrett uh, Sofsit uh, in where he. Um, Pro, pro, propose to re represent a Clifford algebras in, in, in like a complete graphs. Then uh, this is the um, starting point for the this uh, uh, subject, the, uh, and I uh, like it too much and wanted to about this since the viewpoint of category theory and graph theory. Then um, this is the, the, started, the starting point. point. Then we were uh, analyzing different kinds of properties of complete graph, but uh, maybe uh, today, is not uh, too much uh, uh, re relevant uh, for um, uh, for this uh, um, this day, uh, but uh, now uh, the idea is that we can <clears throat> uh, start with uh, some axioms of uh, category theory. And here we uh, there are only the principal um, concepts related with this uh, 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 theory that uh, started with the concept of uh, a metagraph that that is the starting point for defining a, a category. Then. Um, <clears throat> uh, here we have some uh, of the principal properties of this, uh, the category uh, uh, axioms. And then here we have the definition of one uh, identity and uh, one uh, binary operations uh, called uh, composition. Then, in, in the property of this uh, operation is uh, represented here in a graphical way uh, in an, uh, uh, a commutative uh, diagram that uh, uh, show graphically to, uh, to us uh, how works the operation of uh, 
uh, uh, composition. <clears throat> okay, uh, I'm going uh, um, uh, fast in this, in the way that uh, not take uh, too much uh, time. And um, uh, here uh, we have uh, uh, another property <clears throat> that, <clears throat> excuse me, that it is uh, is important uh, because uh, composition is uh, associative. Then, <clears throat> even we have uh, here in uh, uh, category th theory uh, this uh, property for uh, the operation of uh, of uh, uh, composition, and then. <clears throat> uh, here we have uh, another uh, viewpoint for uh, the definition of uh, category theory that is uh, the um, representation of, of arrow only uh, meta category that is um, uh, uh, here the, the objects are. Uh, 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 sorry, uh, um, no, okay. <clears throat> uh, here, uh, the the, uh, the objects are uh, uh, sub substituted by automorphisms, and then we have a, a representation of a category only with uh, with arrows. Uh, <clears throat> and um, uh, another in, uh, in important subject that the, we were uh, using, using is the home sets. Uh, home sets uh, are a representation of the category that uh, uh, um, uh, that uh, uh, associated uh, uh, associated um, uh, some uh, sets to the uh, category. Then we have uh, the set of uh, 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 of objects, and we have the set of uh, home sets that are the the pairs uh, of uh, uh, two objects. And then uh, with this, we uh, associate all the arrows uh, between the, uh, these two objects and they are uh, uh, called home set, the, the, uh, the home set in the category between the objects a and B. Yes, just, uh, I just make one quick comment, just to terminology. Yeah. Uh, normally, I would see that written uh, without the E. So it's not not the word, English word home, like means a house or something like that. But but home, H-O-M, without the E, it is an abbreviation for uh, homomorphism or something of, of that sort. Uh, um, and so when I see the, the phrase home set, it's H-O-M dash S-E-T, right? It means that in the same way that you wrote uh, under the composition there or, or in the definition below, you wrote H-O-M, right? It's, it's the same H-O-M that uh, maybe a, Maybe I, it's not a not a critical point, but just I have not ever seen this this terminology of using the word home h o m e. Yeah, um, okay, but I don't uh, uh, I don't understood uh, your your comment, Professor. Uh, my Fish. my comment is only only the terminology, just just the word the word. Yeah, uh, home, home means castle, castle, 
<laughs> yeah, but oh. uh, but this n this is not not casa. Right? <laughs> yeah. This is this is, uh, is uh, a homomorph uh, uh, homomorphism, right? There's one. And so, okay. There's so the abbreviation H O M, right? Is, yeah, is, you don't want to put the E on it. That's all. <laughs> no E. No letter E. Mm -hmm. But anyway, just just a comment. Okay, but but uh, then uh, uh, in fact uh, uh, it is uh, important because uh, here in, and then we can go back maybe uh, to this uh, slide. Um, in the first definition of category that uh, we have um, uh, here, uh, like a metagraph. Then we have uh, um, uh, the objects uh, A and B here. And then the idea is that uh, the association with the uh, a domain F and a codomain F to A and B is to build a, 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 a concept that is an homomorphism uh, between A and B. Uh, that, uh, uh, that is the comment of uh, uh, Professor Pesh. Then, then this uh, pairs that we are building are uh, uh, the representation of this uh, 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 arrow F in the in the category. Then uh, I go back uh, to this point. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> But now uh, the idea is that, that we can uh, re represent uh, the, uh, um, the category uh, in terms of two uh, sets, the uh, objects uh, uh, set and the arrows set. And then, uh, the arrow sets are wielded with the pairs A and B that are the uh, homomorph homomorphisms of the um, um, the pairs uh, AB, the two objects AB. <clears throat> okay, uh, here we have uh, then the <clears throat> Uh, identity uh, like uh, one uh, 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 home set uh, uh, in the in where the two uh, objects are the same uh, object. And here there is an important uh, um, property of this set that here in this set are uh, 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 disjointless. Then uh, the uh, home sets between A, B and A prime, B prime are uh, empty, uh, are the empty set. Uh, we are uh, going to uh, use uh, frequently uh, home set. Uh, home, ah, uh, I saw where is the problem. In, in the title of the slide, uh, there is a problem because uh, uh, here is a home set uh, and not home. Uh, uh, H O M set. Okay, uh, in the definition, is the is the, is the problem. Uh, I, I'm going to correct the, the, that, uh, Professor Pesh. No problem. 
And, um, okay, and there are uh, some uh, special kinds of uh, categories that we are going to, to use uh, 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 in, in, this, uh, uh, in this work. Uh, one of them are the concrete uh, categories. The idea is the, uh, that uh, uh, we can uh, have uh, um, uh, some meta categories that are not uh, 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 categories of, uh, of sets, uh, then uh, we uh, need some uh, uh, special process for working with th those uh, categories. And then we are going to use uh, uh, the term concrete category when we start uh, with one category that uh, have the class of uh, object uh, C and what the morphemes uh, of the category and the composition uh, of the uh, the operation composition in the category. Then uh, in general, we, we need to define a category with this triad of, uh, of, uh, of concepts. Then uh, C is concrete in the case that there is a function from the uh, 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 objects in the category to the class uh, of sets. Uh, 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 in the way that uh, H, A, B, uh, that are objects in the uh, class uh, of, uh, of uh, objects, then we can relate uh, are uh, morphemes between these two objects uh, 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 like a subset of the map uh, of the two uh, of the uh, inclusion of uh, the object A in the set uh, uh, category and uh, the inclusion of the object, object B in the set uh, category. And then the map, map between these two uh, uh, included uh, objects are the, the morphemes of this uh, category. Uh, I insist that it is uh, uh, too much important because then uh, even a category can uh, uh, be associated with a concrete uh, category. Uh, <clears throat> and then uh, the unit uh, have uh, uh, a si similar uh, relation uh, because uh, the object eight, the, the unit of the object object A is uh, uh, relate, related with the unit of the inclusion of the object A in the set uh, category. Uh, <clears throat> and then here uh, the composition is the usual composition of functions in set uh, theory. The, then in general, uh, we are going to use this uh, uh, <clears throat> kind of uh, category. And uh, another one are the uh, called full subcategories. <clears throat> uh, a, a, a category D defined with D triad that uh, I am showing here is a full subcategory uh, of C, uh, defining of course like a triad. If for each pair AB 
in the uh, subcategory D, we have that uh, D is a subset of uh, the uh, class of uh, objects uh, C and the morphins uh, uh, in the category D between A and B are uh, a subset of morphins with be between uh, uh, the objects A, A and B in the C category. And uh, the composition in D is the restriction of the composition in C. It's, and that is, is the restriction that defines the subcategory D. <clears throat> And uh, of course, in, uh, morphemes uh, on, uh, on. Okay, I, I, I am here uh, in the same line that, uh, that uh, I put uh, um, um, in the upper uh, row, uh, row. Then it is not necessary to comment. <clears throat> I think that I uh, uh, have here the wrong arrow because it is important that the composition um, have the same properties uh, in both, uh, both in the subcategory and uh, in uh, uh, and in the category C. Then um, this is the needed. Uh, 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 arrow here. Mm. <clears throat> okay. Um. Okay. And here uh, I arrived uh, to the uh, concept of functor. Uh, we um, speak of this uh, uh, before, but uh, it is needed uh, uh, now. Then. Uh, we uh, review them, them again. Then, um, um, a moment, please. Uh, okay. Um, here, a functor is, a, uh, is the definition of uh, a function uh, between two uh, categories or, or more general a relation between two uh, categories. Then here, uh, A and B are representing, re representing uh, um, categories. And T is a, a function from arrows of F of A to arrow, uh, arrows uh, TF of uh, B, uh, such that the um, uh, application of the functor to the identity is equal to the uh, Identity. I'm sorry, I put two points here. That okay. <clears throat> uh, I, I was here. Uh, the the identity is uh, transformed uh, by the uh, transformation of the object A in the, uh, in the category uh, A and uh, the compositions, uh, uh, the functor applied to the composition is uh, the same that, that the, the composition of the two uh, uh, objects uh, transformed uh, 
uh, between the categories. Uh, okay, uh, I have here a remark, but I think that maybe we can uh, uh, show this uh, better here in, uh, in the uh, in this graph. Then we have uh, here a transformation uh, between two uh, categories. Then uh, we have uh, here the uh, uh, category uh, uh, um, to move here. Into... Um, we have here two categories. Um, This is the category in C and the category B. Then we have a clear relation between uh, objects. Uh, then uh, the object in the category uh, C is uh, related uh, with the object of the category B and so. Then uh, now we have uh, relations between the morphins in the category uh, C and the category B. Then this is two kind of uh, transformation is called uh, a functor between uh, the two categories B and C. In terms of home sets, uh, uh, you can uh, see it here, but uh, maybe it is better to see in the next uh, slide. Um, and no, uh, I have a um, um, the, um, in terms of, no, uh, sorry, uh, I, I uh, remember the, to present this in terms of, of um, um, uh, home sets, but uh, those are here. Uh, this is a, a, a home set uh, in the C category. And here we have uh, in the B category, the home set, the corresponding home set. Then, uh, okay. And then, uh, uh, Another level of, uh, or, or another kind of uh, the, uh, transformation is the uh, na natural transformation. Uh, the natural transformations uh, give a, uh, given for two functors, S and T, that are acting both functors in the category C to the category D. Then uh, uh, there is a function tau uh, that uh, acts uh, on the uh, functor S and transform to fu functor T. Uh, and then uh, in this way, assigned to an object C uh, of the category C, uh, an arrow tau C, uh, that is the action uh, of the uh, uh, function tau in the category C that uh, transforms uh, the uh, functor HC to the functor TD. Um, 
of the category D. Here we have this in, in a graphical way. Here we have in the C category. And here we are in the D category. Then here the, uh, the fun functor S are uh, transforming um, the, I'm going to change uh, the color of, uh, of the, uh, In this way, then we have here the action of the S uh, uh, functor uh, and in the uh, action of the T uh, functor. And then the function tau here, is relating, uh, re relating the transformed object by the functors S with the transformer object by the uh, functor T. Then this is the uh, natural uh, transformation. In this way, uh, when it is uh, possible to establish these relations, we can say that, uh, uh, oh, sorry, I need to connect my, uh, um, um, uh, my iPad uh, because it is going to uh, turn off. Ready. Thanks. Okay, uh, this is the natural transformation. Then we go now to the. Uh, this is another representation of the natural uh, transformation uh, that um, here we are uh, showing how one property. Uh, for example, we can say here that the uh, is, is equal to uh, G uh, composition with F. And then this is uh, uh, transformed uh, here uh, is, uh, um, sorry, mm, uh, is H, is H is equal to uh, is uh, G composition with uh, is um, uh, F and uh, here we uh, uh, in the other side we have I'm going to put the, uh, in the upper side, uh, we have a TH uh, 
equal to T G composition with the T F. Then uh, uh, this uh, property uh, is uh, transformed by the functors S and the functors T. And then if, if this property uh, uh, is uh, valid for S and T, then we say that is a natural property because there is a function between these two uh, transformed properties here in the category D. <clears throat> then this is an uh, important property of the natural transformation. Okay, and then uh, uh, another important concept is the duality concept. Uh, it uh, can say in a simple uh, uh, way that uh, duality is uh, the uh, process of reversing arrows. Then here uh, we use the uh, arrows uh, in the category and then the dual statement is uh, uh, with the transformed arrows, uh, reverted, uh, reversed uh, arrows. Then uh, this operation is equivalent to change one object from domain to codomain uh, of one uh, function, uh, function f. Uh, here it is important that, that uh, identity uh, is uh, the same uh, in the dual statement, statement and the composition is reverted uh, in the uh, reversed in the in, in, in the dual statement. Uh, in, in the building of uh, the uh, complete graph, we uh, are going to find uh, with the uh, reversed, uh, reversed uh, arrows, and then we uh, are going to use the dual concepts in, in that uh, uh, kind of uh, graph. <clears throat> Okay, and this uh, gives to us uh, one opposite uh, category. Then we can speak uh, uh, about uh, uh, one uh, category related with the uh, a category C, and we are going to call this the opposite uh, category of C. Uh, when we are uh, we change the morphins f from a to b in the c uh, category uh, and then we change by f of opposite that relates uh, the objects in the reverse uh, uh, way uh, in the category c uh, opposite then if we have uh, one uh, category here in a, a, b c and then we have a, a f a, g a, h then uh, this is the the category uh, the category C and the opposite category uh, have the same objects A, B, C but uh, reversed arrows then this is F opposite, then 
this is G opposite and H uh, uh, opposite. Okay. And then uh, we can define different uh, kind of, uh, of functors. Uh, we uh, can define a covariant functor that uh, is in fact the same, excuse me, the same that uh, the uh, definition of functor. Uh, then a covariant functor is uh, a functor that have this uh, this property. Uh, if we have uh, a functor t from the category c to the uh, category b, <clears throat> then uh, uh, the objects are uh, transformed in this way the objects in the category C are uh, transformed to the uh, uh, by the functors to TC and its mapping uh, the mapping is transformed uh, to TF uh, we can re rewrite uh, rewrite this in terms of the opposite uh, category then in the opposite category, we uh, are re associate, uh, associating between uh, the objects uh, uh, morphins uh, uh, F op that is the application of uh, the uh, uh, Sorry, no, no is the application, but uh, to the uh, morphins F uh, op, we uh, relate the morphins uh, T F op. That is in the category B, we reverse uh, the relation uh, in, in the same way. We, we can see those in in the in, in the in, uh, in the, in the fig, figure here uh, below <clears throat> then the objects are related uh, by the functors we have here the two categories c and b and then the functor only uh, transform the um, the objects in the C category to the to objects in the B category, but now we can see here how the uh, how is the relation between the morphemes and then the morphemes uh, H here in the Category C is transformed to the uh, morphemes uh, T H, but uh, uh, in the same way we have related in the opposite category of C with the morphemes H a morphemes that is H opposite, and in the transformed uh, category in beam, we uh, uh, are relating, re relating the uh, morphemes uh, uh, from the uh, um, transformed objects uh, uh, C and C B prime to the uh, one arrow relating these two, but the opposite B category 
is uh, uh, um, the inverted, uh, reversed, reversed um, uh, arrow that is uh, equal to the uh, th uh, opposite. Then here we have this, uh, maybe I can move this here in the way that we can see it better. And then we are uh, transforming with, uh, with T this uh, uh, morphins to, to this and uh, in the same way we uh, have here the H uh, opposite that is in the uh, category C opposite and we uh, have a, a opposite uh, morphemes related in the uh, B opposite category. Then uh, uh, in this, if the functors uh, work in this way, then uh, uh, we say that uh, we have a, a, a covariant functor. <clears throat> and then we have here another definition of, uh, uh, of one contravariant functor. Uh, we, we can see here an important thing. Okay, uh, we uh, are represented, uh, representing here the functor by S, but now the relation is between the C opposite category to the B category. Then we have here relation uh, uh, the the S uh, uh, functors act on the uh, C opposite category, and then give to us one uh, morphemes in the B uh, B category. This is the action of, of the functor S. Then if we can write this in terms of uh, uh, a, a covariant uh, um, relation. If we use the S bar uh, functor that relates from C to B. Then uh, it is, uh, then we say that S is a contravariant functor. Uh, then these uh, properties uh, are uh, too much important because we are going to find uh, some of these in different uh, 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 in properties of the uh, uh, of of the algebra. Uh, okay, and then uh, okay. Here uh, uh, we arrive to the category of, uh, of modules, uh, but uh, I am only, only to put here uh, the definition uh, for, the, for this uh, category that is uh, uh, for each par, a pair of uh, M and N of uh, R modulus, 
die set eh, die home set rmn is an abelian abelian group then we define in this way the eh, category of uh, modules and in this have an important uh, uh, related property to the, the to the uh, to to a functor that is an additive functor. Then, if we have a, a, a subcategory C a, of R modules, and uh, and D is a sub a, a, uh, and D is a full subcategory of S module, then a functor from C, a functor T from C to D is additive, additive in the case of uh, uh, for H, M, and N modules in C, uh, the pair F uh, uh, and G. Uh, acting on M and N in C uh, is uh, uh, transformed by the functor T uh, in this way. If uh, we have uh, F plus G, uh, the transformed uh, 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 morphins is the addition of the two uh, transformed the uh, morphines. Then uh, this uh, kind of property are uh, uh, defined um, for uh, um, uh, investigate uh, around the property of the of the ring. Then uh, I think that in this uh, point it is necessary or it is convenient to review some uh, uh, general um, uh, concepts about about the uh, about the rings and about the modules. Then uh, 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 from the category theory, uh, I. Uh, only uh, um, 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 arrived to this point, and if uh, I don't know if you uh, agree, I can speak something about uh, the structure of uh, rings and modules, or maybe uh, uh, there are another. Uh, presentation for by uh, Professor uh, uh, Garrett. Hmm. Well, I, um, I, I guess you introduced a lot of um, technical machinery, I guess, <laughs> and, and I'm, I'm interested to, to see how it can be used. Um, so, in in particular, I guess the uh, the category of rings. I mean, if you, uh, I mean, no, normally we just take for granted, at least in physics, we we take for granted that we we have numbers, <laughs> and that uh, that these numbers have at least the abstract property of rings, um, but I'm <clears throat> not sure quite how um, the notion of, of the category of rings that is like all uh, like, hmm. do, do we need this structure, I guess, of the category of rings uh, in what you're going to Present it, like your your objective was to relate this to Clifford algebra uh, eventually, but I guess or maybe maybe another maybe I'd ask my question a little differently. That that uh, are are you going to be able to 
discuss a notion of something like the the category of Clifford algebras. Is that is that something that? Yes. Uh, this is the uh, my uh, my aims uh, to present a uh, uh, um, in the, uh, the Clifford algebra in terms of category theory, and and then uh, uh, we, we uh, I, I can uh, speak about the the plan <laughs> that I have uh, here, uh, maybe in terms of, uh, going to the. Uh, 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 graphic, uh, complete uh, graphic that we uh, was uh, working before. And then there we can find some properties that uh, we uh, uh, are uh, um, that is re required to 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 use for uh, define the, the Clifford uh, algebra. Uh, first, uh, okay, uh, I, I am uh, uh, su supposing uh, without uh, proof uh, in this moment that uh, uh, Clifford algebra is uh, uh, um, uh, can be represented in a um, uh, complete graph, like uh, Professor Garrett uh, said uh, before. Then, if if I go uh, back uh, here, um, maybe uh, okay. Here it is. Uh, Maybe, uh, okay, he, here we have two opposite. If this is a, if this graph is defined as a, a category, then we have here two opposite uh, categories. Uh, for example, uh, it, it uh, is the um, oh, sorry. Um, I try to. <clears throat> but, um, for example, if this is the sick uh, category, then we have here the C opposite uh, category. And now uh, we, uh, we uh, and uh, Professor uh, Garrett, uh, I need to uh, hear your, <laughs> your, your help, uh, but uh, I, I am going to uh, start with um, uh, uh, an algebra in two dimensions. Then uh, we have, for example, here uh, E1. In, in the way that uh, we have objects, I need this uh, kind of inclusion. E1, E2, and here we have E1, E2. Then in, in, in two dimensions uh, is the only uh, uh, elements uh, uh, that uh, we need for uh, uh, describe the, the, the algebra.
then uh, uh, first uh, I uh, needed to uh, to inclusion of uh, uh, and <clears throat> from asset that are um, e one e two e one um, Okay, maybe I can abbreviate uh, in this way. You want to. Uh, this is the elements of this uh, set and uh, applying in the um, uh, P. Power set here. Uh, and I, I, I am using this because, in fact, uh, this uh, power uh, set is a contravariant uh, functor. And then uh, with this, we can uh, get uh, this uh, uh, inclusion uh, here, from here to, to here, and so. <clears throat> okay, then uh, we, we have uh, this uh, first uh, representation of this algebra. Here I have an, another uh, uh, question because uh, I need uh, the, uh, the Clifford product that is a E1, E2, sorry, E2 is E1 dot E2 plus E1 Grassmann product E2. <clears throat> And then uh, the, uh, this kind of product is a tensor product. In, in, in fact, uh, we, we have here uh, um, E1, E2 is E1 tensor product E2. <clears throat> then uh, I, I need uh, to review the properties of this uh, tensor product uh, because uh, and there are uh, uh, these are a uh, more complex uh, structure. Uh, but uh, we need this in the way that we can uh, describe this kind of uh, algebra. <clears throat> this is in, in, in general uh, the, the process that we need. Then we need to uh, find the product, uh, tensor product of two categories. And, um, Are you thinking about any particular Clifford algebra? Is it, for example, is that the, the usual Clifford algebra G two, uh, with with e one squared equal to one, e two squared equal to one? Yes, I, I am using the, this um, the more simple Clifford algebra here, and then then. Um, E1, uh, 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 e, E1 is equal to, to 1, uh, and so, no? E, E1, E2 is, uh, okay, here is E1, 2. No? 
Yeah, that's a bivector then. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a bivector, yes. So oh, you're, you're, naming, you're naming the vertices with with vectors then, E1 and E2 and E12. Yes, yes. And, and then we have here vectors in the vertices and in the third vertice, yeah, I have a V vector. Uh huh. Yeah, of course, I wanted to name vertices with null vectors, vectors which have square zero. It's a little different, but I suppose it could be adopted to that too, as far as that goes. Could be closer related to that. Oh, interesting. Uh, Jesus, how would how would you uh, propose to represent this um, graded graded structure in like, as soon as you need to talk about bivectors and distinguish bivectors from vectors, you need to yeah, avert two different kinds of vertices, one with name with bivector and the other with yeah. vector. But the representation of one element of this uh, algebra uh, it can be uh, uh, in this way, uh, alpha, alpha one, uh, E one plus uh, alpha two, E two plus uh, uh, alpha three is uh, E one two. Mm -hmm. And maybe I need I uh, here. Um, oh, mm -hmm. and and this is an a representation of one element of uh, in this algebra. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> So you can do it for higher dimensional algebras as well, of course, uh, with more vertices, yes. I suppose. In, in here, uh, we, uh, we have uh, in this uh, 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 picture uh, only uh, two dimensional, but if we have a higher order, then we can go to another uh, more, more complex. Yeah, so the multiplication of vec uh, basis vectors then gives you the a multiplication of vertices then, since vectors are used to name vertices then. Yeah. And, and then this is a subcategory of this uh, another and so. Yeah, I, I'm just thinking about that Russian writer that she she did quite a bit. Of, uh, she has a nice paper on graph theory representing with Clifford algebra. It might be closer to what you're doing than what I was doing with the null vectors. Uh, this Tanya, I forget her last name. I'll... This, in general, the the idea that uh, I am uh, uh, likes uh, to work, uh, and then uh, okay, uh, this is in general. Okay. I have one question uh, there, uh, Professor Jesus. Yes, have yes. you thought of um, maybe um, adapt uh, this model as a B algebra rather than an algebra? Because I recently um, saw uh, a rule that we were talking about uh, when I visited you 
on the university about uh, this new kind of a uh, language that is using, or uh, that now uh, the quantum computer researchers are using uh, to understand some properties of uh, uh, quantum circuits, which is uh, CX calculus. And there is a rule that is uh, called the Hoff rule, which relates how um, uh, elements of one basis with elements of other uh, another basis that are uh, that have some properties between them. Uh, when you try to relate them, uh, they uh, get like a complete graphic structure. And if, uh, when you said that, I remember that uh, property, and I don't know if if it could uh, apply to to your work. No, um, I, I have not uh, commented because I need to show that uh, <clears throat> that kind of uh, proposal. But in fact, uh, we are uh, speaking here about uh, uh, the general structure of graphics, uh, excuse me, of, of algebra. And then uh, we speak uh, um, in the most uh, abstract uh, way this. And then with the properties of the, um, uh, uh, the uh, of the functors and the, the um, uh, and, and the, tensor products that we are using because we can have different representation of this uh, tensor product. And um, with these two, uh, the idea is that we have the, all the properties of the algebra with, with these two. And then uh, I don't know if uh, uh, properly we can uh, speak uh, there um, about the, uh, uh, the algebras, but uh, uh, I, I not, do not remember here uh, exactly the definition of the algebra then uh, in, in, because I, I wanted to, to give uh, an opinion here uh, uh, about this. Maybe, uh, um, Professor uh, Pesh, do, do you have uh, an opinion on, uh, about this? Uh, well, maybe uh, if you just ask uh, Brian for a bit of clarification. You're referring to Hoff algebras? That's the H O P F Hoff? Uh, yes. Uh, well, I don't know exactly uh, all the terminology because it's a uh, the way that I'm studying this uh, kind of new language for uh, quantum computing is more applied. So the level of, um, of deep knowledge of the basis of these <laughs> rules uh, is not uh, right now like uh, uh, very well understood by myself. So, but I, I think uh, the name is Hoff, like you said, H-O-P-F. Uh, it's called the Hoff rule. And it relates um, in, in these diagrams, uh, we have uh, the C basis and the X basis to represent any kind of a quantum circuit. And when you have like a connection, like a graph connection between the C basis and the X basis, these properties of the Hopf rule apply. And um, when I'm reviewing these kind of topics, they talk about the, the algebra property so when you try to um, understand the interaction between one basis and another one, uh, they share like a special property that is, uh, I think it's called strong complementarity. And they give uh, like a kind of transformation between uh, these two bases to a complete graph in order to um, simplify kind of a some structure there. But uh, I think uh, maybe I'm going to review it uh, more deeply so I can get uh, more uh, uh, specific like uh, 
uh, opinion about it. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I would one. I mean, in this in this connection, just sort of remote connection, I guess. Um, so far, uh, Jesus, you haven't really discussed anything like uh, co-algebras. That is like. Um, so I know that, I mean, you're still just leading up to the point of discussing uh, um, uh, algebra itself. But before we can deal with something like Hoff algebra, we not only need algebras, but also the definition of co-algebras. And this, but the co-algebra structure in some deep sense, like, relates to the duality that that you referred to quant the yes. categorical duality so so I, I think you have some of the machinery there but i'm still a little bit fuzzy on on how all of this machinery can come together to to deal with the notion of applying complete graphs in um, clifford algebra that's still still a bit of a stretch for me, but, but maybe we can get there over time. Um. Yeah, I just posted a, the, uh, as a message, a chat message, uh, the, the uh, reference to this Russian uh, researcher from MIT, which uh, uh, wrote a paper, Clifford Algebras and Graphs. Uh, I think that's most closely related to what Dr. Uh, Cruz is, is doing. But mm -hmm. it's certainly a little different than, you know, I have that new paper, I, the preprint I sent you on my own work on, on uh, itinerant uh, uh, integers as a language for uh, quantum uh, computers. Um, how, how is your, your work on, on that progressing, Dr. Soter? Well, I, I actually, I was gonna show you, uh, try to, a chapter of my chapter seven of that my my book matrix algebras to geometric algebra is 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 very closely related to what I wanted to say today, but I wasn't able to to get it onto my com on my computer. I, so I'm using my only using my tablet today, so I can't oh, do that. But I can certainly do that maybe next time. Present that material. Yeah, I think I think that would be interesting. Um, maybe, maybe we just need to to continue to sort of alternate between presentations here until we see some convergence. You know, that we can converge to to a, a common language. It's, it's so far, it's, this, it seems. I think this paper by Cosa uh, Nova. Kovanova is interesting is relating Clifford algebra to, to graph theory in the sense of what uh, Dr. Dr. Cruz is doing. It might, <clears throat> I did send the, it's a archive X a link yep, that I, I sent. That. Yeah, so you might. Yeah. might. I, I can solve this uh, paper and uh, maybe it, uh, it is interesting to review that. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, um, I think if, if we have no more questions today, then uh, we could plan to, uh, to meet uh, again in three weeks. Uh, and Dr. Sotek, then you, you'd be able to update us on your uh, progress at that time. Yes, I, I would be able to. <clears throat> I have to get this uh, uh, Zoom to work on this computer here, but uh, uh, I, I will work it out. I'm just updating things. Are Are you still in in Mexico? Uh, uh, yes, right now I'm in Mexico, but probably in three weeks I'll be back in the states. But uh, uh, there's still a few things that we have to do here uh, before we can return. It's a uh, Difficult sometimes if you're moving back and forth and using oh, different yeah. computers and. <laughs>
So at, anyway, at least you can carry your tablet with you and you expect that your tablet works in both places. Yeah, the tablet works fine, but uh, it's not really powerful enough to, to uh, exhibit, uh, to share that well. It, it doesn't work that well with sharing. Yes, I guess I had some problems that way too. Uh, uh, okay, well, I appreciate the presentations today uh, and uh, look forward to, to seeing everyone in three weeks time. And uh, uh, thank you, Brian, for uh, showing up and your comments. And uh, well, I hope you'll I hope show up next have, time as well. Yes, I hope you have the opportunity to do so next time as well. Uh, yes, uh, thank you for uh, having me. Um, I'm planning to attend to the seminar uh, as much as possible. Um, I'm really interested in these kind of topics because um, since I started to work with uh, Professor Jesus and Professor Osiewicz back in the day, uh, I think uh, it's always interesting to see uh, like the actual knowledge from a different kind of perspective and came with uh, new ideas of how to understand things. And also in the area that I'm uh, actually uh, researching now, I think it's really important to, to have that. So I'm, I'm will be uh, attending. So. Yeah, I, okay, well, that, that's great. Uh, perhaps some point in the future, you, you would uh, be willing to give us a short introduction to, to your uh, research in uh, quantum computing. I mean, this, uh, for me, that, uh, that is quite a bit of interest. And uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Sobchik has referred to applications of his current work, uh, yeah, possible I yeah, applications. Yeah, i send him a, a copy of that paper. Uh, I don't know if he's had access to it on my research gate site. That's where it's posted right now. Uh, maybe you could maybe you could send me his email address. I can mail a copy of the preprint yeah, or, directly. Well, Brian, can you get uh, a copy of the chat? Like when you're on the software you're using, you uh, we often exchange links uh, via chat, and then the, uh, the chat. Yeah, can you chat get your paid. email address for me? There we go. Yeah. Uh, I'll put it on the chat there. Okay, I see. I'll have to copy it down here. <laughs> okay. Before we uh, then let's see. Where perhaps the chat uh, is. do you have the research gate uh, link for your paper, Dr. Sot? I am not. I, yeah, let's see. Uh, yeah, it's on research gate. Uh, but let me let me just copy his his address and let's see if sure. I can find it here. I have to. Oh, here it is. Chat. Okay, let me take a look at that. Yeah, let me copy his address down here. It's Brian. Uh, Brian. Star star. Okay, gmail.com uh, points. Uh, is that a, yeah, period six, okay, at Gmail. Okay, that's fine then. So I'll, I will send you a, a copy directly. Thank you, Professor. I will review it uh, for the next uh, session. Yeah, I think it's, if you, I, I think this, it's a very promising language which I'm, which I'm trying to develop in terms of these null vectors, which which you'll see in the paper. Okay, well, uh, thank you very much for the discussion today and uh, I'll see you all in uh, three weeks time. Okay. Thank you. Bye for now. Okay, bye. bye. Thank you. Hello, thank you, professors. Thank you.